To stand up tall and proud, I want you to speak up clear and loud, bright. fake, delusional, and disingenuous. He stands as a beacon of truth. He is Abuki Cabal. Listening to a Buki Cabal. Welcome to the Abuki Cabal Show. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, thanks, everybody, for uh, you know sticking with me throughout the uh, throughout my growth process here and um, helping me to grow my channel. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification button. Uh, and today, uh, I want to talk about a uh, an article that I found uh, that was published in the Harvard Crimson in 1990. <clears throat> you know, we've been talking about... Um, the growth of this this movement um, with uh, the LGBTQ community and um, their efforts to try to um, amend the uh, Civil Rights Bill uh, to include uh, sexuality or sexual orientation. Um, and this article kind of shows where that kind of started and uh, some of the pushback that uh, they received when they first started trying to um, say that the 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 the, uh, the gay struggle uh, is the same as uh, black struggle for civil rights, and um, how uh, a lot of people had issues, you know, took issues with that. Um, you know, Baldwin. Uh, was, you know, he was, was gay, but he said he was black first. You know, you are black before anything else when you are discriminated against as a black person in this country. They don't look for anything else outside of that except for, you know, your skin color. <clears throat> well, with these people, um, it's a little bit different. You know, that your experience as a white gay person is, is I'm sure very different than if you were a black gay person or if you were a Hispanic gay person or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, now when you start getting into the trans community and all that, you know, the minute that you are identified as a trans person, then, then they, you may be treated a certain way, but if you're, it's going to be different if you're treat if you're black in that and identify as a trans person and you're white and identify as a trans person, so it's totally different. <clears throat> now, um, you know, they do have uh, uh, have issues in the society, but they are not the same issues 
And I don't think that that's being negative by saying that. It just means that maybe the place for you to uh, to start, I mean, maybe you should start your own bill and and identify those issues in a separate bill rather than adding them to the civil rights bill, which was, you know, a black uh, um, issue. You know, when they added uh, women to the civil rights bill, the largest benefactor of them adding, you know, women to the civil rights bill was white women, not black women, white women, black women only uh, uh, after white women had, 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 you know, uh, received the largest, you know, uh, benefits from that as well as affirmative action, white women gained more than blacks through affirmative action as well, you know, from something that was championed by black people. Even the white people who were in the civil rights movement championed, they, they put themselves on the line for black people to gain the rights that they should have had as human beings. Okay. In a country that has, has systematically and historically uh, uh, forced them out of any sort of benefits uh, that could be uh, accrued from being a United States citizen. Okay. And I don't have to go off into the, you know, the, the history of, of what we built, what we've done, what we've invented, all that's out there. That's out there for public consumption. You know, um, you have, uh, we're still fighting to, to basically just be able to, to, to discuss um, our contributions in history books, you know, but gay people are fighting so that they can, you know, be inclusive into the, in, in this community in the same way that heterosexual people are, but it started off as a small uh, a movement that has grown over time, as you'll be able to see from, you know, this, this article where it kind of started from and, and, and the arguments. And as you, you can see also in some of the comments that have been written in years past, how any form of debate on the issue is seen as uh, a negative, you know, even by uh, people who uh, who are not necessarily at uh, uh, adversaries to to uh, black people, I mean, or to gay people uh, uh, being able to, you know, be treated uh, uh, um, in a humane way. Uh, but just don't want to be a part of anything that 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 that, that you know, that is specific to their community, i.e. I don't necessarily want to watch, you know, that in a show that I'm interested in. I don't think that it should be added to the show uh, in, a, in, a, in a, a way as inclusiveness when, you know, it makes it to where it's it's I, I can't watch it because it's not something that, I, that I'm in necessarily interested in, you know, but I'm the same way about heterosexual sex. If, if there's no reason for sex to be in the story, I don't need it, you know? Uh, um, but now, you know, like I say, I, I've said in some of my other um, shows, uh, uh, you have a, a portion of the community that is, is 7% of the population, but gets 50% of the representation in media. You know, it's like, you shouldn't have an issue with this. You should, you, they're going to make us watch this stuff. They're going to make us, you know, see it in every aspect of our lives. You know, I, I, I took some time out and I asked some people, you know, um, you know, before it became an issue, how many gay people did you see say in a year, you know, at work in your day to day running around? How many people would you see? Not even in a year, make it a month. You know, and this month I saw one guy last month, nobody, not one gay person, you know, so, um, yeah, I know people, you know, but I shouldn't have to, you know, uh, uh to, to be forced to, to, um, to, uh, consume something that I shouldn't want to see. 
you know, um, like take, for instance, P Valley. Okay. The first season was, was mostly, um, mostly, uh, you know, strippers, you know, you have a show that's, that's been billed as being about strip clubs and everything that guys love about, about strip clubs. Yeah. They had uncle Clifford in there, you know, and, and, and yeah, he's there. Okay. But you're taking something that is like a cultural icon for, for men. And, um, there's, there's, that's why they call them gentlemen's clubs. You know, the higher end ones were gentlemen clubs, gentlemen's clubs, the ones down South were strip clubs, you know, but they are, they are toxic masculinity at its fucking best. You know what I mean? <laughs> at its highest yet, you know, we, like we see with, with, with so many other, other things, you know, it's like, well, you know, they should be included into that too. Um, you know, we first saw that when you saw women starting trying to go to, to, you know, to the, the strip clubs, you know, going and, 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 you know, frequenting the clubs. Now, you know, you got the gay element that should be able to go, go to the strip clubs, I guess, or to be, uh, uh you know, included into a storyline. Whereas that has never been the case. You know, I've been in strip clubs all over the world. You know, I have yet to recall uh, any any uh, um, activity in there that wasn't uh, that was like anything like that's being depicted in in uh, in P Valley, you know. Um, you have have um, black women out here championing this stuff, saying that basically you know this is the real world. It's the real world of who? It's the real world according to the writers that are writing this. It's the real world. You know, according to to the black lady who felt like this was something that she wanted to put out there, and more and more and more, the nuance of of Hollywood is is you, there's nothing to ins- explore about the human condition that's new, uh, other than sexuality uh, that is, you know, uh, LGBTQ sexuality. That's that's nuance. That's how you're gonna get an Oscar. That's how you how you're gonna you know, uh, 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 gain viewers because, and, and what it, what it is, is it's, it's, it's not something that's new. It's, it's, I mean, it's like watching a train wreck. It's like watching a car wreck. People slow down to look at the body. This is something that hasn't been out in the, in the public in the way that it's been or that the way that it is right now. So right now it's unique, you know, and women like to gossip. Women like sensationalism. They are marketing this to women, not to, to guys, not to any, but they're using it to basically bait you in. And then once they've got the viewership up, then it's just going to get even more and more sensational. But I've stressed this out a little bit more. I'm kind of on a rant, but um, let's shoot up here and see what this article has to provide to offer. All righty. Okay, I'm going to get the player started here. It's the same as discrimination against blacks. Okay, hang on. Still kind of new to this program.
Okay, here we go. Opponents of the Reserve Officer Training Corps. ROTC. All right, well, let me stop this. Okay, here's where we go. Okay, don't compare blacks and gays. Okay, this is a letter to the ed uh, the uh, to the editors of the Crimson because they had written something before that was basically uh, supporting um, <clears throat> adding or uh, uh, you know um, uh, gay people to the civil rights uh, um, struggle. Uh, and this is where you start to first start to see um, them trying to uh, emulate some of the same strategies as trying uh, to as blacks used uh, in order to try to um, highlight their struggles and whatnot. So this is where all of that kind of started. So and where it picks up is it says, OK, I was talking with a friend yesterday about gay rights when he declared discrimination against gays. Uh, it's the same as demonstrate uh, discrimination against blacks. Opponents of the reserve officer training ROTC use the same argument concerning the discrimination practices of the armed forces, but you cannot compare homosexuals to blacks. Gays are not a race of people. Discrimination against blacks is very different from discrimination against gays. Okay. So now we will pick up with uh, the program here. Here we go. Use the same argument concerning the discriminatory practices of the armed forces. But you cannot compare homosexuals to blacks. Gays are not a race of people. Discrimination against blacks is very different from discrimination against gays. The black struggle in America has historical basis and implication. Slavery and Jim Crow were practices that raped our families, our identities and our culture. Today, blacks remain politically and economically oppressed. Poverty and violence have resulted from this systematic oppression. The gains of our ancestors seem to have been temporary. In contrast, homosexuals are not economically oppressed. As gay rights advocates indicate, they are our lawyers, our doctors, our teachers, etc. Gays represent mainstream America in that they have gained economic freedom and affluence. Politically, many government officials have begun to admit their homosexuality. The struggle of gays is not comparable. The reason I wrote this letter is that I cannot stand to see the plight of blacks misrepresented. ROTC assailants are correct in saying that ROTC's discrimination against gays today is similar to that applied by the military toward blacks historically. This is where the similarity between blacks and homosexuals ends. Liberals have suggested that blacks, gays, other minorities and women should band together to fight discrimination. For blacks this would do no good. We already have civil rights laws that ironically proclaim our legal equality. We must now fight covert as well as systematic persecution that have prevented equality of opportunity for our people. By banding together, each group would lose the individual message of their unique situation. Blacks gain nothing in standing beside gays. This only clouds the true problems of black America. I mean no disrespect to gays, but I will not apologize for my unwillingness to parallel homosexuality to blackness. Every time I hear the analogy on Donahue, in the Crimson, at dinner I cringe. It is simply a fallacy. Discrimination against homosexuals centers around morality and sexuality. Discrimination against blacks is racial and holds great historical significance in America. Gays gain a lot in repeating the analogy. They believe it gives legitimacy to their claims. I feel it does a disservice to the black struggle and to my ancestors. It may be true that together we stand divided we fall. But don't confuse these separate issues. It is not the morality of blacks that is in question. It is the color of their skin and the deep-rooted inequalities that still exist in our society. Carl W. Lampley, 93. Okay. <clears throat> so there you have the article, and that was uh, an individual who wrote it in, uh, wrote in, and um, um, voiced his, his disdain for uh, or disagreement uh, with what was uh, happening during that time. <clears throat> so here you see the beginnings of the strategy that was taking place in order to um, um, what I've described in, in some of my other shows as, as, as a siphoning off of the energy behind uh, the black movement and the black struggles as a unique uh, and started, there, there was this movement towards, uh, you know, consolidation, 
you know, and with that consolidation, you'll see some of the, like I said, siphoning off of the energy of the resources and the focus on black people. And now it's being moved off to all these other issues. Uh, there's, there's more energy and money behind the LGBTQ struggles than uh, there is uh, for black struggles nowadays. Civil rights is, is almost like a solved problem now. Um, you have it. I mean, it's so bad that, that, you know, uh, you see uh, a lot of people online uh, uh, spouting off, you know, historical fallacies about the civil rights movement, about who was against black people and who uh, were for black people. And, you know, um, you know, BGS talks about, you know, the Kerner Commission um, uh, and, and during that, that, uh, that Kerner Commission, it talks about all of the things that were unique to the black community. You know, the Monaghan Report, all the things that were unique in the black community that need to be addressed. But to this day, none of that has been addressed. We've moved on and now we're we're uh, more than ready to um, to give our money, our time and our empathy to uh, to another struggle. When our our struggle is is ongoing, we're still as black men being killed at the highest rate by police, highest rate of anyone. You know, we, we still uh, are, do not have, have economic uh, opportunities uh, um, that we should have <clears throat> access to. You know, we still uh, are less educated, you know, have less educational opportunities than uh, black women. Less than black, I mean, than white men, less than white women, less than gay people. You know, you have gay people getting up and graduating from colleges and saying that the 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 the, the biggest thing that was uh, uh, was a contributor to them graduating, you know, summa cum laude or whatever, is that they they them being, you know, a part of the LGBT community. So. None of these things uh, uh, are are looked upon as as um, having any kind of adverse uh, effect uh, to their lives. They're using it as as uh, an affirming quality. <clears throat> now, you know, you had where you know it started off where okay, you know, you should they should be able to get a cake just like everybody else, a wedding cake with two guys on it or two women on it. You know, that was a thing. Then it moved on to bathrooms, you know, and then it moved on to them being able to read to, to, to children. And now they've gone in and they've started to try to change the curriculums to where now, you know, uh, um, uh, we are, are uh, affirming uh, children's uh, beliefs that they are something other than heterosexual. Heterosexual or heteronormative is now a negative term. You know, they're saying that your gender was assigned at birth. All these negative annotations to uh, what used to be a done deal, a given. We, by nature, are binary. You can choose to do something else, you know, but they want to want to to profess that it's not a choice. This is the way they were born. But as you can see in one of these these deals, Here's, here's one of the first comments where it says, thank you, black skin color, uh, not uh, is not a, a, not a sexual orientation, uh, a way of life or subculture. I equally cringe when I hear <clears throat> some whatever politician, uh, namely, OK, and it uses a name, always uphold uh, the rights of women, the rights of gays in the same breath. It's even worse. When you get to know this person is so vocal about the rights of gays because his predecessor was a homosexual and it turns out an open advocate of pedophilia. OK, uh, how disgusting can the parallel between women and that sort uh, merc, sort of merc be? Uh, we women represent half uh, the humanity. We're no subculture, no sexual orientation, no way of life, and certainly no sexual perversion. Please, being black is a given. Being a woman is a given. 
That's the way you were born. Whereas nothing is more variable than sexual orientation. The born that way theory has never been proven or proved and never will be. It's a fallacy. Uh, how many lesbians have ended up with men? How many heterosexual men uh, pay male prostitutes from time to time just to get themselves a sexual thrill? This was written by a woman. Uh, how many youths are homosexual or bi at 17 and turn out uh, to be heterosexual at 18? A man who explains to children that being black is okay and racism is bad is doing the right thing. If uh, he explains to children that homosexual homosexuality is good, it's an insufferable attack on their future sexual freedom. Now, I don't know about all that, but this is something that a woman wrote, wrote 10 years ago. Okay. And people have been responding to her uh, her position on that, which, you know, the, um, the, the only part that I was really trying to point out was, is that, yes, uh, that it has never been proven that um, scientifically that there was a gay gene or, you know, or anything uh, uh, <clears throat> like that. OK, um, but that was being espoused during that time as well. So you go down and, and this person's being attacked, attacked, attacked. Um there's a lady here that said, you clearly have not read the news, nor have you taken half a moment to actually learn uh, about the oppression, oppression that people of the LGBTQ uh, community have dealt with. Now, this was written three years ago. OK, the LGBTQ community didn't even exist back then. Uh, so uh, this isn't uh, the discrimination Olympics. It's not about who suffers more. It's not about who suffer, who deserves to fight for their rights more. It's about the fact that people are facing some of the same atrocities that black people have to deal with. I disagree with that. They're not the same atrocities. They're during different time periods. There are different uh, 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 types of, of crimes that are uh, against these people. You know, um, you know, uh, uh, some people can hide that they're gay. <laughs> they just don't have to speak. You know, they can sit in a car and just look like uh, somebody else. They don't have to go out and have, you know, uh, uh, you know, different types of, of hair and and nails and, and over the top stuff. You don't have to do that. So. Um, and that's not all of them, I'm just saying, but most people can just be quiet. But unfortunately, you th th this uh, some tend to be a little bit louder, a little bit more boisterous, you know, uh, and, you know, this is a thing. It's not, I mean, it's not being negative to say that about them. It is, it's an observation, you know, um, uh, they can do whatever they want to do. I am not against them having sex with whoever they want to have sex with. Now it's a, uh, it's a whole nother situation when you start trying to say that black and gay is the same thing. The discrimination that blacks and gays have, have, have endured uh, are the same. That's, it's, it's not. You know, anyone who says that hasn't has clearly has not read a history book. Um, so let's go back to this and cover a little bit more of this. OK, it's about the fact that to this day, people are being beaten and killed and harassed in public for simply being them. Black gay people, black gay in between. It's about the fact that gay people can still be denied services just like people uh, for simply being them, whatever she means by that. It's about the fact that in certain countries now see that that's I mean, that's irrelevant to the argument because we're talking about this country. OK, um, you know, we're talking about what's going on in this country, but. It's usually the case when people, especially, you know, some women who are, are advocates and and you know, align themselves with this, this struggle to come out and start talking about everything that happens in all these other countries and all that. We can't, we can't control that. You know, we can, you know, try to get these people to act right and, and not kill their people and whatnot, but, but by and large, we can't do anything about that. So I'm going to get on by that. But, um, okay. People simply being them. It's about the fact that in certain countries, 
Uh, they can be murdered, arrested by the government for just holding hands with someone of the same gender. And that's not true. Look, I was in Saudi Arabia and men hold hands with each other and skip up the street and do all kinds of stuff. So obviously, I don't know whether she, you know, she knows what she's talking about. I mean, that's some countries, but then there's some countries that men holding hands is nothing. <laughs> so. um, OK, so just like how and she says uh, the same gender, just like how black people were for holding hands or kissing white people. OK, that's a totally different situation, totally different situation. But she adds them together as if they're the same. OK, let's also not forget that gays are black, too. And like I said, Baldwin was gay, but he said I'm black first. You know, and uh, I, I hope that people are intelligent enough to know that, you know, Certain attitudes can get you killed. Uh, certain uh, ways that you you uh, engage with certain people can get you killed. Uh, doing things that are socially unacceptable, even though you think that they are, can get you killed. You know, it may not be right, but you got to have enough sense to know what to do and what not to do in uh, around certain people. Black folks still know who to who to be around and who not to be around. You know, you that's about being mindful of your environment. OK, not to say that that's right. But there is a, a degree of people out here forcing uh, their uh, a way of life and their belief system on other people who are uh, are, are adamant. Against what what they what they consider to be OK. So uh, let's move on here. You are perpetrating a level of ignorance and bigotry you claim to be fighting against as a black person. So here's the part where you start to shame people into into if you say anything about, you know, uh, it, there being a difference, then all automatically you are homophobic. So this was 10 years. No, this was three years ago. OK, this was three years ago that, that, that people are sitting up calling people homophobic. But yeah, that that that's another strategy that's been you know, been used uh, uh, to great effect against uh, the general public. So um, in my opinion, that needs to stop too. And I think there's, there's, there's uh, some substantial progress against that right now. Okay. You've undermined your cause, your own cause by pushing out members of your own race. No one's pushing out black gay people. Black people tell Black gay people, you black first. I don't know anybody that doesn't say that. I don't know any, I don't really know any, uh, any gay people who don't feel like they're black first. And I'm, I, I mean, and I think I can, can speak to that. You know, I know a lot of black people. So, um, I'm not, I don't know who this lady is and what her persuasion is. She doesn't really look black, but you know, um, people tend to do that. So, um, Let's move on, says you are just as guilty as white people who reject you for being black. Your ignorance and statements like these, uh, this are only damaging you and your cause. So here, you know, you have a person basically, again, more shaming and more uh, uh, trying to damage uh, uh, this person as a result verbally, uh, as a result of, of her disagreeing with with their position. Um, just doesn't get it at all, you know, so not giving an inch. So let's move on. Maybe Google search these things, uh, before you decide to write such a bigoted and ignorant post about something you clearly know nothing about. So then she comes back and she, she amends it and says, I duly note that this was written back in 1990. I hope whoever wrote this grew up and stopped thinking. So just by having their opinion, then obviously they are are are, uh, are obviously uh, not grown up or not mature enough to be able to uh, express uh, an opinion against something that they felt like uh, was not a good thing uh, for them and and uh, for the community as a whole. Okay, so uh, with that, you know, I'll I'll, I'll um, you know ask, do you think things got better? From 1990 up to now, maybe it's gotten better for gay folks, but with it starting um, from 
the level that it started to where, you know, hey, uh, you shouldn't care about what they're doing in the privacy of their homes, you know, uh, and getting a, a cakes baked and people not killing them to now they're in my my Disney uh, cartoons. They're in just about every um, uh, piece of media that I, 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 you know, like to look at. You know, they're in my comic books. You know, they're in my... Um, my comic book movies. They're in my sci-fi shows. You know, they're in all of the things that, that, you know, that, that straight men like to like to watch that straight boys like to watch. And, you know, first they, you know, you know, you, you have, have the, 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 you know, the feminists coming in and saying that basically these are, there's toxic masculinity because the women are scantily clad and, you know, it promotes, uh, you know, heterosexual, heterosexuality and, uh, heteronormative, you know, uh, uh, ideas. And, um, now, uh, you know, uh, none of that matters because as long as they got some gay folks in there, then it's okay. You know, nobody's worried about anything being overly gay or anything or, or, you know, toxically gay. Nobody's caring about any of that. You know, uh, nobody's, you know, uh, uh, saying Disney, hey, this is this is, is a kid friendly place. We can't, you know, we can't be showing all of this men kissing and and, and you know and 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 characters, you know, being two guys and and making babies and all that. They, they, nobody's saying anything about that. They're saying more of that. You know, you got Obi Wan Kenobi now is a, you know, he's, he's bisexual. He can't just be heterosexual. That's just too good for him. That's just that's too bland. You know. Um, you can't have, uh, you know, a, a show about strip clubs, you know, down south and and manly men going to the strip club. So you got to have a gay dude running the strip club and you got to have a, a hardcore, super masculine guy who's gay on the side that, that that's down low, you know, and this is written by a black woman. Marketed to black folks baited the black men in with, with a bunch of naked black women, then you jump, you throw out the, the, you know, the, the super, uh, graphic male sex scenes to the point to where they're showing TikToks of men unable to even watch it. So you, you switch out for that. You got a gay scene in Buzz Lightyear, you know, Everything that you're that you're watching, you're, you're forced to watch it. Now they'll say, "Well, we gay people, we were forced to watch heterosexuality." No, you weren't. No, you weren't. So then they're telling us that we shouldn't watch it. If we don't like it, we shouldn't watch it. And then, and, and they even come out and they're over the top saying that basically the gayness is going nowhere. It's if anything, it's gonna get it's gonna be even more in your face. That's what the writer said about P Valley. And you know what black woman said? This is real life. You know, I don't know why you guys are acting like it ain't real, you know, uh, manly men out there, guys that are, you know, street guys that are just out there with a bunch of, you know, uh, doing some homosexual stuff. So they affirm everything that these people are doing. They affirm when they're dressed up in drag and they're, and they're reading the kids. They affirm when they go in and they 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 change curricul curriculums and they change uh, um, um, change it to where these these kids you're not old enough to make any decisions or to make any kind of informed consent about sex but you can but you can change your sexuality how much sense does that make doesn't make any sense at all you know it just does not make any sense at all you know you there there's so many. Uh, things that 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 don't add up with this. That it's not even funny. But I can go on and on. You know, I just want to give you guys a couple of things to think about. And, you know, this is just healthy debate. You know, I, I'm not advocating anything uh, negative against these, uh, you know, this this movement. I'm just saying that people should allow children to be children. You know, we have all of this stuff going on about, you know, R. Kelly and 
all these other things. And then, you know, these, these grown people shouldn't be around it. You know, there's an element of that in their community as well. You talk about this grooming and all that stuff, you know, what do you call having, you know, folks in the schools with minors telling them that it's okay to be gay and they're grown, they're grown people. And they're telling them about all of this, this sexuality and, you know, and all of this stuff, that stuff. I mean, I remember when it was, it was damn near hell for you to be able to even talk about sex education in schools. Now we've gone the whole nother situation, you know, but, you know, just think about it, you know, um, shout out to Matt Walsh. You know, he's made some, some, done some great work. He has, has uh, put forth some, some extremely uh, um, uh, good points regarding this and um, he's being attacked. Anyone who speaks out about this is being attacked, you know, under any other circumstances, if you just take gay out of it and you, you talk about kids not being exposed to it, it's okay. But if you mention, you know, the alphabet crowd, uh, then you are being, uh, you will be silenced. You know, there's the same thing, you know, on, on, on Facebook, you know, on TikTok. You know, they've allowed, you know, uh, this anti-manosphere crowd to to just run rampant. But the minute that you say the right combination of words, you are you are are 86. And. Um, what we are saying is not uh, not as bad as uh, some of the stuff that they are allowing to go. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, um, the content. Um, I look forward to the comments and um, you guys have a good day, night, evening. Uh, appreciate you guys. And I'm out. Like a motherless